Audio Modern's Loop Mix may not be the first Loop Remix plugin in existence, but it may be the most intuitive, even creative one I have ever used. And I'm not saying that because Audio Modern sponsors this video. Loop Mix can transform a sample loop like this to something amazing like this. And the plugin can work much subtler or way more extreme. To start working with Loop Mix, you need sound. There are two ways to get audio into this plugin either with the mix packs of Audio Modern or by importing your own samples. You can preview and simply drag and drop the loop onto a stem. You wanna check this view for the reckless? Now, Loop Mix automatically finds the beat and maps the loop correctly and plays back at the speed you have set in the plugin when you use it standalone or at the tempo you have set in your DAW with the plugin version. So, the plugin works both standalone and as a plugin on desktop, and it's even available as an iOS app. Here are all four stems I selected. These six tabs let you adjust the steps of all stems, but for now, let's do pitch and adjust this vocal loop so it harmonically matches the bass synth. Let's crank up the speed. And here's a little taste of what's to come and what Loopbix can do. This big red button is awesome. It randomizes everything. You also have a sequencer and rearranger tab. With sequencer you select which parts you want to play of the loops you loaded in. Rearrange lets you pick a part of the loop and put it somewhere else on the same track. Here's this loop I've worked on. Three of the same loop and it's randomized a bit. Let's add a 4 on the floor beat to it. For that I will use a loop from the factory sound set. This one will do. I will use it on two stems and use a rearrange and the sequencer to put the kick on all beats and have a snare on 2 and 4. I wouldn't mind seeing the rearrange a sequencer tab in one specific tab where you can drag and drop the parts around. But I assume that is difficult to do from a developer standpoint. The reverse tab quickly lets you set which step you want to reverse. You set the volume, obviously.
The density tab lets you subdivide, or more correctly said, add repeats inside a step from 2 to 8. Great for stutter-like effects or roll. A big part of this plugin is randomization. This might strike you as, why is this useful? The main reason for me is that it inspires. A randomize will do things and changes you yourself might not do and surprise you and inspire you to get out of your comfort zone. The randomization can be done per effect or it can work on everything at once. Or you can select which effects should be randomized. Here's the well-known Amen Brother 4 bar drum loop where I've put one bar on each stem. I did make sure the original loop was quantized in my DAW before I created the four separate stems because although loop mix does detect the tempo and the beats fine, with something with very loose timing the splits ended up being a bit of a hit or miss. First let's turn up the tempo for breakbeat drum and bass style rhythms. Now this loop is in the same pitch as the slower tempo and I want to increase pitch to get that well known sped up sound. Go to the pitch tab and simply hold shift and you can change the pitch of the entire stem. Or you can simply change overall pitch here. Now I don't want the pitch and volume to change, so I simply turn them off. Whenever I press randomize, only the other four will be randomized. Up until now this has been completely random, but you might not want that. For that there's the lock function. Enable it and click on which steps you don't want to have randomized. And this gives a nice blend between having fixed, let's say, anchor points and also variations. If you have found a variation you like, press here to store it. Go on to other variations and store the ones you like as well. This way you can either play these variations with keyboard or with MIDI. There's a whole set of controls as well to give you the freedom to arrange the loops however you want. And this keyboard here below also lets you check each complete stem here. And the sequence for each stem. Randomization has three degrees of fierceness. And Anchor lets you set a stem as a sort of a master track. When you're done, you can export each stem by simply dragging and dropping into your DAW. These are full stems and not the sequence parts. That would actually have been a good thing to have. You can export the entire sequence though. The Audio Modern Loop Mix is my favorite Creative Beats plugin right now. And I'm not saying that because Audio Modern sponsored this video, but because I've been playing around with this sample loop mangler for a while now, and I really like it. Audio Modern makes great tools, like the free plugin in the video displayed on screen and linked in the description, which you can use in unexpected ways.